Hello and welcome. I am Raghav and today we are going to discuss some examples on object oriented programming and we will discuss some examples so that object oriented programming is very clear to you and you have a deeper understanding of classes and objects. We have already started with our object oriented programming from the last session where we discussed about a fruits class. So let us discuss some more examples. If I go to Google and search for object oriented programming examples and I will go to the images section and here you can see there are some images which will help you to understand if I go to this first image here let us see so you can see there are these classes if I look at student class so the student can have some uh, attributes like name grade marks and so on and then some functions like get name print grade and so on so we can have a student class where this class name will be the class identifier then we have data members which will be the attributes of that student and then some member functions which can be some operations that we can do on the student class. Similarly, you can think about a class for a circle. Here we have attributes like radius color and then we have functions like get radius get area. Similarly, if you look at this car class, you will find a similar pattern here. So this is how you can think of a class. So if I take this example student class, let us try to create a student class and then create data members and member functions. So I will go to my Eclipse and this is our project. And here I am just going to create a new package so that I have a separate package for object oriented programming and I will name this as oops. And inside this package I will do a right click new and I will go to others and I will search for groovy you can select groovy class in case you get an option I have groovy type so I will select this go to next and here I will say groovy class and I will say this is object oriented programming example one or it's better to name this as the class name I will give as student so it is better for understanding this is a student class I will say next and I will also create a main method so I have a option to create static void main and I will say finish and here we have got our class created along with the main method now here I am just going to add some attributes so a student should have a name so I will have string name and then let me say I want to check marks for subject 1 so I will say subject 1 marks I will say int subject 2 marks and that's it so I'm just having three uh, members or three attributes for student name subject 1 marks and subject 2 marks and then I will have a function that will print total of the marks so I will say print total and here I'm just saying print ln and I will say dollar name so whatever whatever is the name of the student has total marks equals to and I will do a calculation of addition of subject one marks so I will say sub one marks plus sub two marks okay so this is a very simple function and you can see here I am directly using these variables and I can uh, give value or give uh, some data to these variables when I create an object. So I will now come to my main method and I will create an object instance for this class. So I will say the class name is student and I can say student1 equals new student with brackets. So here I have created the object student1 and now using this object instance I can access the variables and methods of the class. So when I say student one dot you can see I'm able to access name sub one marks sub two marks and print total everything I'm able to access so I will say name equals John and then I will say student one dot sub one marks equals 88 and student one dot subject two marks equals 77 and then I will say student one dot I will call the function 
print total so I will save this and I will run this I'll do a right click run as I want to run as groovy script so I will go to run configurations and go inside groovy script say new and that's it and I will say run and you can see it is printing John has total marks 165 so after creating the object we are putting values for name subject 1 marks and subject 2 marks and then in this method print total we are accessing all these values now similarly I can have multiple objects so I can also create a new student so I will say the same thing here I will say student and I will give the variable as student2 so this is now an object instance and I can do the same thing like this so I will copy and paste and I will say student2.name let us say is Sara and then I will have the marks and call the function so I will say this is 90 and 70 and then print total and I will again run this and let me run as Java application they should also work fine yes so it is now also printing the data for Sara so this is how using a class you can create multiple objects and we have already learned that a class is a blueprint to create multiple objects so now using this blueprint we can keep on creating objects also if you see some examples so if I say uh, object oriented programming car example and you will see this is an example so similarly we can have we can create a class for car and then we can have multiple attributes like the name the color uh, the type model and so on so I will also discuss a car example in the coming session and I hope object oriented programming and classes and objects concepts is now more clear to you and all this was very useful I will meet you in the next session of Groovy. Thank you for watching.